Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and create Google test in my favorite IDE, NetBeans. Unit test is a critical part of software development. Many people, including myself, believe that every software engineer should create unit test for their own code. Google test is one of the best C++ unit test framework in exist today. It is powerful, flexible, and easy to use. Setting up Google test in NetBeans only takes four easy steps. Step 1. Download the Google test and extract it to a directory, let's call it gtest.dir. Step 2. Compile the Google test into a static library. Step 3. Create a unit test project. Step 4. Create a test case. Today I will walk you through the four steps of creating a unit test with Google test. This is the design that I want to create a unit test for. It's a class called MyStack. It is a stack of integer. And MyStack has three APIs, push, pop, and to stream. First, go to this website. You can also find this place by searching Google test. And download this zip file. After downloading it, extract all the files into a directory. This is where I extract all the files. Inside this folder, there are a bunch of directories. What's interesting to us is the source directory, where it contain all the source of the Google test. The samples directory contains the examples that demonstrate how to use Google test. And the include directory. This is one of the directory that I need to put in my including path. The next step is compile the Google test into a library. I will create a new project and add include path and add two source files, gtest all and gtest main. So I go to File, New Project, and C++, C++ Static Library. Next, let's call it Google Test, and click Finish. I have created a project called Google Test, and this is a static library project. Then I will add the include path of the Google test. I right click on the Google test project and select properties. And click C++ compiler. This is the include directories and click this. Add. And I navigate to the Google test directory and select. This is one directory that I need to add. I need to add another one, which is the include directory. So, these two directories need to be in added into the include path. Click OK. OK. Then I need to add the source file to the Google test project. Right click, add existing items. There's a gtest main and gtest all, which is under the source directory. Select. Now my Google test library is ready to be compiled. Let's build it. It is built successfully. So our library is ready to be used. We have done step 2. Now let's move to step 3. Create a unit test project. First create a new test project, then add the include path as before, and lastly add a library of the new created Google test library. Basically link the Google test library to the test project. Moving back to NetBeans. This is the project that I want to create a unit test for. 
So I right click Test Files. By default, NetBeans doesn't support Google Test. So I need to create a new test folder. Let's call it Test Stack. And OK. Now I have created a test project for my stack. And the same as the Google test project, I need to add the include path. C++ compiler, include directories, add. And this is one. And add another one, which is the include directory. OK. And click OK. And I also need to link the Google test library to the test project. So I right click again, properties, and go to the linker. Uh, there's the libraries. Click this. Add project. And navigate to Google test project. And add. And click OK. And OK. Now our test project has been set up. And at this moment, we can even run the test, even though the test is empty. I can right click and test. As you see, running zero tests from zero test cases and zero tests passed. Now we are on our final step, create a test case. So I right click on the test stack project, a new C++ source file. And file name, let's call it test. And finish. So we have an empty test.cpp file. And we'll create our first unit test with Google Test. First, let me include the head files. I'll include gtest, gtest.h. Then I include the head file of our design under test, my stack. Then I created the test. test stack test test pop the first argument is the name of the test case and the second argument is the name of the test one test case can have multiple tests and test pop is one of the tests first i create a my stack and st push 9 then I expect equal 9 st dot pop so I'm expecting the returned value from st dot pop is equal to 9 so this is our first unit test. To run the test, just right click test stack and test. So this is the final report of the unit test. Running one test from one test case. What test is it? Run stack test dot test pop. So that is what we are running, stack test dot test pop. And OK means this test has passed. And finally, it says passed one test. So this is how to set up Google test in NetBeans. That's all for today. Feel free to check out the other videos I have. And see you next time.